they didn't they didn't come on their own. They did not come on their own. So the people that were on the island, we, we said before they were slaves, right? They were slaves. So if, if I'm a slave, then there's a slave master. So, huh? Is that is that is that fact or fictional? Is that fact or fictional? Hold on, sis. You got to get this. You got to get this, okay? Don't don't be in a rush to leave this knowledge because you're not going to get it tomorrow. All right? Is that so? She said the people they was brought in on boats and rafts, but did but 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 they did not come there on their own, right? They were brought in on what? Did that not happen? Was that not what happened? Were they not brought there on a slave ship? Okay, so now we're going to read in the Bible. I know it took a minute to kind of get to that part, but but it is what it is. All right, so we're going to read our, read the history. Here, here's Julie. We're going to read the history of the people that call themselves Puerto Ricans. All right, give me Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. We want to set the context because in order to understand the we're reading the Bible, the King James Bible. All right, read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. How old are you, baby girl? Nine. You're nine. So you're old enough to get this, all right? Read. These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. All these words in this book, all right, they were given to the, the people of God. So Deuteronomy was the word that Moses spoke to what people? Five. Listen, 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 listen. Read that again. Moses spoke to who? These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? All Israel. Julie, who was Moses speaking to? All Israel. Sis, who was, who was Moses speaking to? He was not speaking to the world. Understand that. He was only speaking to the Israelites. The Israelites are the Jews. Did you know that? Yes. The Israelites are the Jews, right? So let's see who the Jews are today. All right? Read. On this side, Jordan. Read verse uh, 28. Now we're going to jump to another chapter in the book. All right? Precept upon precept. All right? So let's see what Moses told the Israelites, the Jews. All right, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we already know these be the words Moses spoke to the Israelites, the Jews. So he said in 28, it shall come to pass, meaning a later time. This was written like 6,000 years ago. All right? 6,000 years ago, Julie. So it says, at a later time, it's going to happen if you if you don't listen, keep reading, read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to, to the voice of God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do. There's action behind the word do. Read. And his statutes. Read. Which I command thee this day. So he commands us to do the commandments. Read. That all these curses. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing, Jude? No, no, no. Curse. Is it a good or bad? My sis, what's your, baby, uh, what's your name? Arabella. Arabella. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A curse. It's bad. Curse. You agree. So he says, if you don't do the commandments, evil things, bad things will happen to you. Read verse 16. Listen close. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Evil things will happen to you in the city. No matter what city you go to, what other states have you been to? Michigan and Texas. Michigan and Texas. Did you go to the good part of town or the, or the hood? You went to the hood, right? And it was, it was, it was that nice, like flowers on every corner, huh? Don't lie. Come on, be real. It was it was potholes in the street. The same thing you see here, right? Read that apart again. Curse shall thou be in the city. Evil things gonna happen to you in the city. You're gonna be you're gonna be afraid to go outside. There's gonna be shootings and all kind of stuff. And curse shall thou be in Walking the field. Up. All right, sis. Come on over. Where your brother says, Curse shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Now check this out. I'm noticing something. She's paying very close attention. All right. But you guys are not. She know her nationality, but you don't. Get this, all right? Because I can ask you, there's a problem in your community, and you say, well, we don't want to come together. We've heard that a lot, haven't we? If we just come together. But how can you come together if you don't know who you are? Does that make sense? Yes. If we don't know who we are, we can never come together. No. So I'm trying to bring you together. But you got to pay attention. Undivided attention, all right? Read it again. Curse. No, you don't have to go yet. I promise you don't have to go. You telling yourself you got to go, but you don't have to go. My brother, where are you from? Don't leave, sis. Don't leave, sis. Where are you from, bro? Don't say it loud. Where? Hey, sis, right here. Here's the thing. Now, this is crazy. The nine-year-old, all praise the most high. 
if you look around, you see the adults left, but our children and my brother right here, she wants to get this. But the parents, the one that, that is leading her, has taken her away. We can't make this up. Bring it up. We can't make this up. <laughs> you find yourself on this sign all right it's a car all right you see yourself on the sign sis you don't see yourself because there's 12 tribes amongst the children of Israel understand that 12 tribes 12 nations all right the 12 nations, the 12 tribes make up the Israelites we are the Jews of the Bible if you look at this sign everybody on this sign was sold into slavery did you know that the so-called Mexicans were slaves you knew that. So you know that part of your history. Huh? For real. You're not just making it up. So it happened when after Christopher Columbus came. Everybody on this side at one point in their in their in history were slaves to the so-called Europeans, the so-called white men. Am I making it up? Am I true? Alright? So she knows it. So now this is a great day for you. What's your name, bro? Who? Victor. This is a great day for Victor. Because today, this day, Victor would not call himself, I, I hope that Victor would not call himself a Mexican anymore. That's right. That's right. That from this day forward, Victor would call himself, I am an, I am an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. I am an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. Understand that. All right, give me, Deuteron give me Genesis 49. Give me Issachar, Genesis 49. Look at me, Victor. What is something, if I go into any Mexican restaurant, and I look at the stuff on the wall, the memorabilia on the wall. What is one animal that I will see in no matter what Mexican restaurant I go into? Real quick, tell me. Huh? A, a animal? A what? A eagle? Nah, I don't see too many eagles in the Mexican restaurant. All right? And I see a lot of chickens, but I, I'm not talking about the chicken. This animal got four legs. Last hint. You know? You know. All right, read that. The book of Deuteronomy shut, I mean... Genesis chapter 49 verse 14. Read this. Listen close. Issachar is a strong ass. Issachar, the Bible says Issachar is a strong ass. Issachar is a strong ass. What is it? What animal we call the ass, Victor? I can't hear you. you Got to speak loud. A what? Now, do when we go into a Mexican restaurant, do we not see donkeys on the wall all the time? How, am I making it? Am, look at me, Victor. Am, am, am I right? Have you not seen it? Do you not see it when you go to a Mexican restaurant? All right, what in, 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 in Mexico, right, in the villages, what is a donkey used for? The donkey symbolizes what? He, he just said it in the, in, the, in, the part, in the part above. Read it again. It's a car. It's a strong. Stop. stop. It's because of what? A strong. What does the donkey represent? Strength. All right. The, the people of, 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 of Mexico, the so-called Issachar rights, they come to America and they work for, They work hard, don't they? Huh? Strong. They work hard like a donkey, do they not? All right, keep reading. A strong ass. Read. Couching down between two burdens. Couching down between two burdens. Because right now, on the borders of Mexico, what's going on right now? Immigration. Right. But what is specifically going on right now? In the news, right now. You got 12,000, 15,000 people from other countries, right? Am I right? Have you seen it? 15,000 people from other countries trying to get into America. But what is, what is in between where they came from and where they're going? What's in between where they came from and where they're going? What is it? Mexico. Mexico. Read that part again. It's the car. It's a strong ass couching between two burdens. God calls it two burdens. Two burdens. America is a burden and the place they came from. They're trying to leave where they came from and they're trying to get to America. But Mexico is in the middle. God is telling us in the Bible who you are in these last days. 
You have Issachar. He didn't say Mexicans. Keep reading. And he saw that rest was good. What is it that when you see a when you see a, a, a so-called Mexican with a sombrero, right? And he's sitting. You seen the pictures. You seen the images. And he's sitting under a tree at the base of a tree, and the sombrero is down, touching his stomach. What is he doing? He's what? What does the Bible say? Read it again. We seen the pic. You seen that picture before, haven't you? Be honest. You seen the picture before, haven't you? It's everywhere. It's known about the so-called hard-working, so-called Mexican people. Read it again. Issachar is a strong ouch crouching Read. down between two burdens. Read. And he saw that rest was good. And he saw that rest was good because after a long, hard day work, all he wants to do is take a siesta. Right? So now, so the Bible is letting us know because you just saw the sign here, right? We, we broke it down for you. The tribe of Issachar are the so-called Mexicans today. Understand that, all right? Because you're not going to find Mexican in the Bible. So when you take your history that actually happened to you, the slavery that your that your people went through, give me Deuteronomy 28. I know we don't went to it a few times already, but you wasn't here, so we got to go to it again, all right? Sis, it is what it is. Our people need to wake up in these last days and understand who they are, all right? Because God created 18 nations. We are the Israelites, the so-called Caucasians, are the are the Edomites in the Bible. You're from the tribe of Esau. We're from the tribe of Jacob. Name was changed to Israel. All right? That's who we are. That's what God calls us. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.